Another topic I just wanted to speak on, you know, just for the people. Like, do I think that Sean Watson was wrong? I did for a while. For a while, I thought he was wrong. I was like, you know, he shouldn't have been, you know, doing that to them women or making them feel uncomfortable. You know, it was just totally wrong. These massage women, they didn't ask for him to, you know, like, take take it to further measures than a massage. They didn't ask for that. They was put in that position. But then when I seen the 22 women or how many ever women, they all sued for civil. It's like, how you going to sue for civil and don't sue for criminal and expect for nobody to judge you? Like, why is you looking for money if you was upset, you was hurt, you was emotionally distressed. How is money going to make that feel better? If he was a criminal and he did something to you, he was, should be behind bars. But he did not do none of that. Nobody agreed to that. All of them, they just want civil for their feelings being hurt. So you want money for your feelings being hurt for me advancing myself to you. If I advance myself to you and you say no, ain't that it? You say no and, and, and I walk away, ain't that it? Obviously, that ain't it. There's something else going on, you know, so whatever he did is what he did, and I'm ready to move past it now. I don't know if the whole world is ready to move past it, but I'm ready to move past it because I just see that these women, you know, they just, they just want money. These women just want money. I don't know if they really felt... Like they lost something or he stole their innocence or whatever they feel like happened. But, you know, they got paid. So with them being paid, are they going to feel better now? Is money going to make you feel better about that experience that you just had with him? Because basically that's what happened. He's going to go back to his regular life because he had enough money to pay all these people. So I think you should just leave a man alone. I've just been seeing all the hate. I've been seeing all of these other sports people coming out just, you know, just doing like real blasphemy. Because, you know, most of them done already did something in their life, which was similar. And now I guess they saying they calling for Deshaun Watson to be out the NFL. And I just don't agree. I don't agree. I think he should have a second chance. You know, he ain't did nothing too crazy. He didn't rape nobody. He didn't force nobody to do nothing. Everybody that he... I guess tried to, you know, talk into doing something. They didn't. They didn't do it. So, give Deshaun Watson a break, man, and you know, stand by. You know, people making mistakes, and he paid for it. He paid for his mistakes, and he's still paying for it now. So, just leave that man alone, man. And another thing I too want to say is that I've been seeing a lot of these. Athletes, I'm gonna just say athletes, like they be like when it ain't when they not in the NFL or the NBA no more, <clears throat> they losing their mind. They getting drunk, they going in car crashes, they beating their women. Like, what's going on? We got to figure that out. I don't know if it's steroid rage or what's going on, but leave, brother. If the woman is tripping and doing all that, and you know, you do not need to go to jail, you need to leave, okay. Um, as far as the drunk stuff, I've been seeing a lot of drunk. We just seen Marshawn Lynch with with what they talking about. He got dragged out the car by the police. Uh, he didn't have no meat on his tires. He was riding on rims. Of uh, obviously, he needed to get pulled out the car. Okay, so <laughs> athletes, let's do better. Okay, mainly the black ones. Let's do better, brothers.